What's the story of the occipital bone? Otherwise known as the occiput. It is a bone that is the back and underside of the head. So it actually curves around toward you. I find it to be a very stately bone, very regal. I don't mess with it. I want to be proper around Mr. Occiput. Huh? Let me tell you a little bit about the anatomy of the occiput, the occipital bone. We can't ignore this big guy right here. That is the foramen magnum. That is the big gaping hole that the spinal cord comes through. So you can see as it curves around the back of the neck, uh, there's this big hole here, and you can imagine the spinal cord coming right through. We have the big curves right here. These big open spaces are kind of the the holder area for your cerebrum, the big top part of your brain. And then in here, there's um, other little, not little, big divots that are for the cerebellum, that lower part of your brain that controls the movement. We have right here, it kind of like comes out just a little bit at you. And that is the internal occipital protuberance. And then right here, these like um, notches area here, that is where it attaches to atlas, which is the very top vertebrae of your spine. So you can imagine them touching base right, right here and here. Up here, that's where your suture line is along the top of the occiput where it meets up with the parietal bone. So that's that bumpy area right there. All right, that's the story of the stately occiput. Now let's all appreciate the beauty of this painting.